Hello everyone, Andrew Yuzi here today bringing you a review of a new tweak called Pimp My ROM. I'm in my custom um, recovery right now and what Pimp My ROM is is that it's a script that you can run on your device in custom recovery and what it does is that it will um, give you options for ton tons of tweaks and different kinds of um, features that you can add and to speed up your device. This works very well for older devices, a year or two years old, like or the very popular Samsung Ga Galaxy S um, that was three years ago. If you're still using that, then this tweak might help speed up your phone a lot. My phone is also three years old, and this tweak has helped speed up fluidity a lot better, um, making it on par to a lot of devices that are out there today. Anywho, the power of this um, script is that it is able to run on almost all phones, all devices, as long as you're using custom recovery. So this means your phone has to be rooted and you need to be using a custom recovery like Clockwork Mod or um, any other kinds like Extend 4, those kind of custom recovery. Definitely I'm going to include the link of the original um, discussion, the original um, post of this pin my ROM but it's gotten quite popular and without further ado I'm just gonna go and show you how this pin my ROM works first thing you do is you have it run and it'll start to work so you can see now it gives you a welcome screen and tells you about what's going to happen. Before we get started, let me just tell you a bit of the different tweaks that it has. And it has a lot. Like, it boasts that it can have longer battery life, faster internet browsing, um, kernel tweaks, um, governor tweaking. Um, you have to make sure that you select the right things so right now I'm running gingerbread so I am going to be selecting that alright and then you can start with um, having some kernel tweaks right here like vsync um, kernel sweepers and other kernel tweaks and of course, it would be good to have all of them because basically they all make your phone run faster. Most of the time, um, I select all of them. The problem is that sometimes th there are some tweaks that are for um, dual core processes, which in that case I don't really have the use for. And this next part, you can also click this so you can install every all of the tweaks. And you can see there are a lot of uh, battery saving, Wi-Fi, camera quality, RAM, deep sleep, uh, dialing time tweaks, increase JPEG, flash LED tweaks, and so forth. And we also have disable boot animation and other ones. Disable volume bake. And this has to do with uh, memory killer values, which you can use to balance out the um, phone's process and how it deals with memory and RAM, such as mid, low to medium. And it's very clear. So even though you don't have a great idea of what's going on, it tells you um, the level you choose, whether it's good at multitasking or very good at multitasking and most of the time it's better to find a balance and keep in mind you, the settings that I choose does not have to be the settings that you choose because my phone is everybody's phone is different and everybody uses their phone differently and here there's also more tweaks that have to do with security and stability and lastly you have to select the country that you have and 
other extra features that you can add, such as blocking ads or allowing ads. There's Beats Audio and now it'll be ready to ins install the tweaks right there. But since I already did it, I'm not going to uh, put my phone through that again. I'm just trying to give you an example of how um, this script works. And now that I've shown you um, around what happens on the phone itself, I'm going to talk more about how to apply this ROM. So right now I'm on the website of the Pimp My ROM just to give you a clear idea of how the script works. I'm just going to refresh it. Okay. Um, basically, it has some warnings to tell you um, to make sure that your device is rooted and to make sure that you're in the right place and you're looking for the right things. But overall, what I want to be clear about is how to install it. So it has um, the instructions here, but I think the thing that some of my friends have problems with is what kind of device or what kind of file you should download because they have these um, different guidelines. So the one that I use is this one because my phone is the Motorola Droid, which in this case it is an MDPI device. But if you're unclear, then you can go here, which has a very clear list of what um, pixel density your device is. It has, the, it has a lot of the most popular ones even the latest uh, Nexus 4, which is um, has the X HDPI, uh, Galaxy Nexus, uh, the same, uh, Galaxy S3. So um, once you, you've made sure what density your phone is, then you can proceed to download. Otherwise, it will have uh, problems working on your device. I hope uh, I've made it clear on how to use this from. This is Android user and I will see you next time.